So I was at the People's Summit sure. in, in Chicago, and uh, Jordan Cheriton was at the People's Summit in Chicago, and it seemed like a big progressive get-together. Um, some people made some noise that Tulsi Gabbard wasn't invited and Jill Stein weren't, wasn't invited. Uh, I almost wasn't invited. Uh, I got invited somehow. And uh, uh, But what did you—I overall, you know, I only spent part of Friday there and part of Sunday there. I had my own show to do Saturday, which you were on. By the way, Jordan got a standing ovation when he was introduced, which is fantastic. And uh, so uh, uh, well, what was your assessment of the People's Summit? Yeah, I mean, I actually, I thought it was very well done. Um, you know, there, there's a growing chorus uh, on the progressive side that seems to never be happy with anything. <laughs> and they thought it was too establishment. I mean, honestly, I, I was very busy. So I, I, I might have not been able to see every single group that was there and look into their uh, funding. However, I mean, I saw a lot of groups that are for what I'm for and what you're for. Uh, single payer, free public college tuition, ending the wars, uh, Live, more living socialist uh, policies. Right. So, you know, it, at, a, at a giant conference, is everything going to be perfect? Great. Uh, no, but let me tell you something. Without conferences like that, uh, dozens of ca progressive candidates that I interviewed are probably not going to get a, pr a platform. They're not going to get it from the corporate media. Uh, and without conferences like that, you don't have the opportunity to re-galvanize and re-energize the troops uh, like Bernie Sanders did in one place. And I just don't think that there's some dark, sinister, neoliberal cabal going on uh, at the People's Summit uh, that it's all just a sham for, like, secret super PACs, which is what I've heard from others. Yeah, a lot of people were saying that on t the Twitter. I saw that, and I was like, well, you know what? Uh, a good point. I, I, I thought that this was being run by the nurses. I didn't look into who was financing it. But all I know is that, I, uh, you know, it would be not in their interest to finance this uh a summit because it was great for me to meet all the other progressive candidates that I hadn't been able to meet. I met uh, the woman who was running for the chair in the California Democratic Party. She knew who who the, uh, the Young Turks were and who this show was. And we got to interview Nina Turner. So I don't know if he's needed to Nina Turner get duped. Did somebody give her talking points to say when she spoke? No, they had guys. You know who was there? The guy who wrote this book. Thomas Frank was there. Now, this book is what made me a radical. And if you read this book, it will make you a radical. Listen Liberal by Thomas Frank. He was there and he was telling the truth about the Democratic Party. Bar Bernie Sanders was there and he was telling the truth about the Democratic Party. Roseanne DeMauro was there and she was telling the truth about the Democratic Party. So was Nina Turner. So was uh, 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 Crystal Ball. Uh, there's lots of people there who were to the left of the Democratic Party's mainstream and they were telling the truth about it. And guess what we were doing? We were meeting up with each other so that was also very good although I did not get to see Thomas Frank when he was there I missed him uh, there were so many people there that I got to see so many that I missed so many so um, yeah I don't think it was a real I don't think this was some kind of CIA plot to infiltrate the progressive movement and to upset it and turn it all up I think it was a good thing it was great to see you there it was great to meet the guy running uh, oh I got to meet in person uh, Jaffe who's running against uh, Nancy Pelosi and so many other uh, candidates who are primarying uh, corporate Democrats and uh, the like. So uh, to me, I, I, I just thought it was I, I saw a positive after positive after positive. They in, they allowed draft Bernie people to be there and to be there very loudly. We were chanting in the foyer for a while. I mean, so there they, they wasn't I didn't. No one tried to shut us up. No one tried to sh shut us out. And we were allowed to say whatever we wanted to say and meet other progressives. So I felt like it was a success. Yeah. Uh, is there problems with things? Yes. Would I like to have seen Tulsi Gabbard and Jill Stein there? You bet. And I wasn't even aware that they weren't invited until I got there. So uh, maybe they were. In the I don't know what to happen. Who knows what happened? Do you know what happened with them? Uh, no, I don't. But Tulsi Gabbard spoke the year before, so I would have a hard time believing that in a year's time she wasn't invited. Um, secondly, the National Nurses U United uh, pays for the conference. So if, unless you think the nurses are working with Trump, uh, I think you need to <laughs> relax on the funding sources. And thirdly, uh, not just with the People Summit, but I see it a lot uh, with people criticizing my reporting. These are not people who actually, actually leave their homes. A lot of the people that were criticizing weren't even there. So I'm not trying to be arrogant, but it's like if you're not if you're not personally somewhere to see for yourself, 
How are you, you know, writing columns and tweets and all this stuff, ranting, uh, when you can't even see the dynamic? I think everybody needs to focus on the real enemies, which are the EPA, neoliberalism, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton. Well, I mean, I don't mean enemies like take them out. Right. Um, but enemies, um, enemies of but progress, enemies you know I mean. of progress. Right. And by the way, Jimmy, I just want to add, uh, I feel, you know, we wish... Uh, uh, the congressman that got shot, a speedy recovery. However, enough with that. Enough with, oh, uh, the dialogue is uh, is why this is happening. No, it's not the dialogue. It's, it's the fucking guns. It's very simple. It's the guns. It's not the discourse or the dialogue causing maniacs to, to do this. They're maniacs, and they have access to lethal weapons that could kill a lot of people. The guy had a history of domestic violence. So, I mean, that should be an automatic. You don't get a gun. You have a history of domestic violence. You automatically don't get a gun. We don't do that in America. They gave him a gun. And now again, we're talking about every other thing except what we're supposed to be talking about, which is the easy access of firearms by by anybody, is including the mentally ill, and including terrorists in in the United States. So uh, that talk about a banana republic. You talk about a government that's completely corrupted uh, by corporate interests. That's exact. What that's why we don't. So again, we you know the 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 the, the, the how, how they proved in the study that we live in an oligarchy that's proof because 90 percent of people want background checks we don't get them we're never getting gun legislation with the system as it currently is so that that's uh so that's a great point that you made yeah those a lot of people i i noticed that too a lot of people the the, the loudest people criticizing the summit weren't there and I, I by the way it's not my summit i don't have any and it just again i don't you know when people came at me like when i was i had rokana on my show people were coming at me like uh, like as if i'm the defender of rokana i'm a defender of positions i'm a defender of policies and if anybody is for those policies i'm for those people if if tomorrow newt gingrich came out and said he was for single payer and free college and ending the wars in a livable wage i would be for him even though but we know he's never going to do that so i'm for positions and if people want to come to those policy positions then i'm for those positions and those people who are for them but if you're not for those positions i'm not for those people and it seemed like the people summit was for those positions everyone there i met was for those positions i didn't meet anybody there who was against those positions and every booth i went to was somebody more progressive saying even something more progressive so there there wasn't like the DNC. I didn't see a DNC booth. Did you see a DNC booth there? No, no. I just, I just saw, uh, I just saw the New York Times underground uh, writing nasty pieces and spreading uh, chemicals above ground. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, yes. It's, it's fantastic. Well, listen. So I again, I, I, um, I, I think we need more of these things. Um, where progressives get together, because as Chomsky taught us, uh, what the establishment media does is reinforce. They're there to f to further the uh, the plutocrats' agenda. The uh, and they're not there for you. When the Washington Post is owned by a guy who's worth eighty billion dollars, don't you th you don't don't for a second think that paper is there looking out for the working man? Because if they were, they'd be writing story after story about the horrible working conditions at Amazon. All right, but they're not. All right. Just so. So let's let's remember, we need more places like that and uh, and less places like the DNC convention where I was wearing my my lanyard was sponsored by Comcast and and was at, held at the Wells Fargo Center. Mm -hmm. So these are the things we need to get away from. I'm OK with uh, uh, w with what happened at the People Summit, because I think that the content of the People Summit was fantastic. I agree. And one more, uh, one more uh, bow and arrow for you against that Washington Post owner. I've recently learned in writing my book, he lobbied a hundred thousand dollars to stop a wealth tax in Washington State, and he's also a libertarian, from what my research gathers. So you got a libertarian, a uh, wealth tax dodging guy, uh, who owns the paper that claims uh, democracy dies in the darkness. Might have something to do with the 16 negative Bernie stories, uh, Russia taking down Vermont's power grid, and all this bullshit from the Washington Post.
Yes, it, it might it might be. So, so don't ever make the mistake that the establishment press is on the side of the people or progressives or change because they're not. They are the status quo. Jeff Bezos is the status quo. The New York Times is the status quo. And they always they're always pro war. And when they just blame the shooting on Bernie Sanders and progressives. So, uh, again, we're to the point now, I think, where the establishment media has gotten so bad that when they do attack progressives, it just strengthens them like we just saw happen with Jeremy Corbyn. Correct. Correct. And I also think we're at the point, Jimmy, I don't know, come 2020, I don't know if I'm going to be allowed on that bus again. I made it. I made it in 2016, but I'm uh, I'm not making friends, so which I'm happy about. I don't need to be on the bus. No, no. Good for you, Jordan. Good for you. Don't 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 make again. We know what the establishment media is, even if they don't want to be. They that's what they are. They're there to defend the establishment. They are guard dogs of the establishment. And that no matter who you are, no matter where you are working in the establishment media, you will not be allowed to do or say anything that undermines their their bottom line. And as soon as Rachel Maddow does a story that undercuts Comcast profit, they'll she'll be fired just like they fired Phil Donahue, just like they fired Ed Schultz. Now Ed Schultz is on our if you listen to the Washington Post, now Ed Schultz is doing propaganda because he's on RT. All of a sudden, he was okay at MSNBC. He told the truth about the TPP, and now the Post smears him as a propaganda propagandist for Russia. That's fucking happening right now in America. They're smearing a guy telling the truth, Ed Schultz. It's amazing what's happening, and that's why we need more people like you, Jordan. Thanks for doing a great job. Everybody, check the link below for Jordan's new book. What's the name of the book? Corporate con job, how mainstream media aids the oligarchy. All right. Thanks very much, Jordan, and we look forward to having you back.